welcome back to Fab Finds by Keitra. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome to Fab Finds. Over here we talk about all things fabulous, honey, when it comes to a good luxury niche designer fragrance. So guys, let me tell you, if I go out and I put my nose on a fragrance and everything about that fragrance is love it for a sniff and love it for a spray, I'm gonna bring it here and I'm going to share it with you. Another thing, guys, we are all about positive energy and positive vibes. And if you don't mind me addressing you as hey gorgeous and hey boo, then this is definitely the place for you. But guys, welcome to Fab Finds. I guess today we're gonna do a little bougie vlog. So come with me, okay, come so with me. So we're here in Nordstrom's and I am going to go around uh, and see some fragrances that are out and see what we can find. So I'm gonna see if I can find me some Love at First Sniff and some Love at First Spray. Okay, so have you guys gotten a chance to try the new Tory Burch fragrances? I don't have any Tory Burch in my collection, but okay. I wanna see what this is all about. Okay, so I am here trying the new Tory Burch fragrance, and guys, the Sublime Rose is absolutely fabulous. So in the rose, it has rose, black currant, and there is Dreamwood. Smells like a beautiful, elegant, gorgeous rose fragrance, okay? Now, if you are looking for something sweet, you definitely need to get your nose on the Divine Moon. Now, this is delicious. So in the Divine uh, Moon, okay, because I'm looking for the notes so there is honey there is lady of the night and then there's citrus this smells absolutely amazing and sweet on the skin absolutely love it so this is my second favorite from tori birch and it is called divine moon and of course the last one that i absolutely love is the electric sky and in the electric sky guys there is lavender there is a cactus flower and there is wood and this is a good one too so if you've ever wanted to try any of the tori birch fragrances i would definitely go out and get my nose on those so again my three favorites are Sublime Rose would be number one. Number two is going to be the Divine Moon, which is sweetness, goodness in a bottle. And then, of course, the very last one is going to be Electric Sky. Um, and all of these fragrances are from the new collection by Tory Burch. Go and get your nose on them. Go and get your nose on them. I think you will find at least one or two or three. Okay, guys, just true story. So I am in Nordstrom's and uh, I was talking about the Tory Burch fragrances and this lady walked up and she's like, oh my God, which one are you talking about? Because you just sold me on it. Like, which one is it? But guys, when I tell you this right here is the fragrance <laughs> that I think she fell in love with. My nose is never wrong. My nose is never wrong. Burberry her elixir, she's just that girl. She's that girl, okay? I'm just saying. Okay, so girl. here we are at the house of Chanel and the fragrance that I have my nose on is Paris Paris by Chanel. This is a beautiful uh, fragrance, guys. It has pink pepper in this fragrance. And we all know that uh, that pink pepper note is the note of love. But this is definitely a good one. It was definitely love at first sniff and definitely love at first spray. And it has been added to my list. You can't go wrong, okay? I'm just saying you can't. Okay, guys, go so wrong. we have made it here to the house of Dior, and you already know that I absolutely love this fragrance right here. And this is the <laughs> Miss Dior for the 2021 collection that came out. You already know that I absolutely love this one. But another one, guys, don't sleep on those EDTs, okay? That is what I have realized. Do not sleep on the EDT. But the Miss Dior EDT, this one right here, absolutely amazing. This one is another one that is good. It's very light. It's sweet it's fresh absolutely love it so of course uh miss diora the edt is definitely a love it first sniff a love it first spray and definitely worth getting your nose on okay i'm just saying bougie boobs bougie okay boobs. so here we are you already know the yves saint laurent um the libre is just a fragrance to have for this season but guys i'm telling you i'm still in love with the original og okay and judging by how these bottles are sprayed how the edt is just about empty the og is just about empty um yeah the intense and the parfum they're not giving okay the bottles are telling the truth right about now the bottles are telling the truth 
Um, but I do want to know, have you gotten your nose on any of the fragrances? And what is your favorite by YSL Libray? Of course, you know the house of Joe Malone never disappoints. Never disappoints. If you're just looking for a beautiful, gorgeous, clean citrus note fragrance, if you are looking for a um, fruity fragrance, if you are looking for a light floral fragrance, if you're just looking for floral fragrances, um, Joe Malone is just that girl okay what are your joe malone loves? so i am here at the house of joe malone and guys when i tell you the english pear and freesia is giving me juicy fresh pear is what it's giving it is absolutely sweet it's fresh it's clean if you are but that's what joe malone fragrances do if you're looking for a good clean fresh fragrance or even if you're looking for something deep and rich and decadent joe malone has you covered but absolutely love this this was definitely love it for a snip love it for a spray and it is the Jo Malone Freesia no English pear and Freesia okay absolutely so I, love it. um Sheree I made it okay I made it and I'm here and I'm going to try the Trish McAvoy okay so of course this one right here y'all I have played the funky two-step with Trish McAvoy um sexy number nine uh for the longest okay I do have the body cream absolutely love it I don't know why I did not pick up the fragrance but it's good. It is good. Guys, it is, um, there is a blackberry, there is vanilla, and there is musk. It is definitely sweet, juicy, and creamy. Um, don't sleep on it. Don't sleep on it. Don't do what I did because I did not get it. I don't know what I was thinking about. Another one from Trish McAvoy. Guys, don't sleep on this one either, okay? This right here is some sexy date night right here. Um, this is a black rose and oud. Girl, when I tell you this right here is on point, this one right here is on point oh my god Trish McAvoy y'all let me tell you so you can have your fruity during the day with the number nine with the sexy number nine and honey when you are trying to put on that sexy black dress Trish McAvoy this right here this black rose in the oud it is everything definitely love it first sniff definitely love it first spray uh and it has been added to the list okay it has been added to the okay, list so i've got my nose on the new gucci um the gucci flora and this one is the gorgeous jasmine i'm just still on the fence about it okay it i like it but i don't love it I like it, but I don't love it. So it might be a pass for me. It just might be a pass for me. But if it ends up in my collection, don't say nothing. Okay, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> so we just left Nordstrom's and I am on to my next destination. I'm gonna go and check to see um, if there's a Sephora here and get my nose on some fragrances there. So stay tuned, Bougieville. So I'm in Sephora. Of course, I'm going to check out some fragrances. But guys, don't sleep on uh, the candles. Don't sleep on the forever mood, okay? So my favorite is, of course, Left on Red. Absolutely love that. Uh, matcha Business is a good one. And girl, if you're about that soft, spicy life, you definitely have to get the soft light candle, okay? Don't sleep on the forever mood, girl. Okay, so apparently I've gotten into this big old Burberry thing. So now I'm looking at the Burberry blush. Um, have you guys got your nose on this one? I did spray it. I do love it. I'll add it to the list. I'll continue to keep playing with it. Um, very soft, pretty girl fragrance. Um, have you gotten your nose on it? I don't know. I don't know. I'm still on the fence about it, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Apparently someone just told me that I need to try Chloe Nomad. I do not have any Chloe in my fragrance collection either. Um, so I sprayed this one and I'm going to see. Is it going to be love it first sniff? Love it first spray? Let's see. Oh, the mister is everything. Okay, I'll entertain it. I will entertain it. Um, I'll put it on a list. Do you guys have Chloe Nomad? What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? Do I need this or is this a stay? I need to So there's stay. just so much. There's so much. Uh, of course, I already have the It Girl. Okay, I'm not searching for any Tom Ford right about now. Um, I'm just looking, okay? 
I don't see a whole lot that I just have to have. Um, but again, here is fragrance sniffing here at Sephora. Hey guys, so I am going to um, leave out of Sephora. I definitely, I didn't find anything. I didn't see anything that was um, love it first sniff sniff, like something that I just had to have. Um, I did um, just add a few just to smell like the Burberry Herb Blush, but I'm thinking that is more spring, summer. Uh, I'm gonna try the Chloe Nomad to see. I just sprayed it, so oh, I'm gonna just see the dry down and see if it loves me back. I don't know, but guys, I wanna thank you. Thank you so much for uh, hopping aboard this Bougieville train uh, and for following Fab Finds by Keetra. And until our next over the top bougie, fabulous Fab Find. Smooches.